Hey boys, it's Arm Nan. Today I'm going to be taking you for a tour of my muscle car garage in Grand Theft Auto Online. This garage has actually changed a lot since the last time you guys saw it, probably about four or five months ago. I've definitely made some uh, some adjustments, some changes. We got some new cars, we got some new customization on old cars. Um, I think that it looks a lot better than it used to, and I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to show you guys. So. We're going to go ahead and get started with uh, with the first car right now. So to start off, uh, we have my second Bravado Buffalo STX. Um, I've got two of these. This is one that I customized on the channel uh, probably six months ago, something like that. Really, really happy with that, with this customization. It, the color on it is a Mariner blue. It's also got the bronze wheels on it. I know you guys don't really seem to like the bronze wheels too much, but uh, I really like them. Uh, they're bronze Cheetah RRs. I think they look great. The interior of the car is also the uh, same paint match as the exterior and I've got the uh, the blue racing stripes equipped. I've also got the front splitter on this thing, the ducktail spoiler as well, and uh, the two kind of bigger uh, cannon exhausts on it. I think this thing looks super good. It's definitely one of my uh, one of my better builds in my opinion. I really like it. Uh, definitely a, uh, a pretty great car. I love the Bravado Buffalo STX as I'm sure you guys probably know by now. Uh, one of my favorite cars in the game, probably my favorite Bravado car in the game too. Um, definitely a pretty cool car. On to the next next one of course we have something that you guys might not have been expecting to see this is of course the Declassy tulip i customized this uh, relatively recently on the channel actually and the car really looks great this one has the uh, the cheetah rrs on it as well in black i know that uh, low profile rims on muscle cars is kind of a uh, kind of a hot topic especially older muscle cars like this but for some reason i think that this thing looks super super good now the declassy tulip is kind of a kind of an underrated muscle car i think in gta it is a four seater uh which is pretty cool it's got lots of customization as well it's one of the uh, one of the better looking older muscle cars in the game in my opinion i really like how this thing looks i can't remember what red i've got this in it might be a garnet red something like that uh but it looks really good i think that this thing turned out super well and uh, I'm certainly very happy with it. So that's pretty much it for the uh, Declassy Tulip. Let's go on to the next vehicle here. And of course, we have the Vapid Dominator GTT. I've done this one in an olive green. I just customized this recently. I went back and uh, made some adjustments to it. It's got the crackers on it as well. It's got this uh, black, you know, livery on it as well. I think the black livery looks really sick with the olive green. I'm a big fan of olive green recently. I don't know what it is. I think it just seems to catch my eye for some reason, probably because I'm colorblind. Um, a lot of people don't really like the actual look of the car. Um, or like the look of the color on my cars, I should say. Uh, but I think this looks fantastic. Super happy with it, and uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely one of my one of my uh, preferred builds to do these days. I know I've been doing a lot of the uh, the blue with bronze wheels, and uh, definitely uh, we've been doing some olive green with some black. So I think that it looks really good, though. Um, in my opinion. I think it's uh, I think it's a good looking car. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, Dominator GTT. Let's move on to the next one, and this is a new one into my muscle car garage. This is my Dominator ASP, and I've uh, I've actually recustomized it uh, very recently as well. This is done in a Saxon blue with a uh, stone silver Mercy concave wheels on it. This thing is looking super, super good. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I got the titanium exhausts on it. Um, obviously, a little ducktail spoiler there. I got the windows all the way uh, blacked out. Interior is also blacked out as much as I uh, as much as I could. Um, with that being said, I mean you can't really do much to the interior of this car. I think it looks really good though. Super happy with this build. The ASP is uh, it's definitely one of my favorite muscle cars in the entire game. The STX I think is still my favorite, but. Uh, the ASP is probably a close second or third. Um, I really do like this car. It sounds great. It drives really good. Uh, super good handling on this thing. So uh, definitely one of my preferred muscle cars, that's for sure. And for the last one on this side, of course, this is my Declassy Vigero or Vigero. I've heard people calling it the Vigero recently, and uh, that almost seems to make more sense, but I like Vigero. So uh, this is my Declassy Vigero ZX that was added with the Criminal Enterprises DLC into Grand Theft Auto Online. When I customized this on the channel, I had the uh, I had the white stripes on it. I've since uh, I've since changed those to black because I think that they kind of make more sense in black. I think it kind of looks better. Again, with this car, I've got the uh, blacked out cheetah 
RRs on this. Uh, these are not the carbon. I don't actually have the carbons on uh, on any of the cars that I've shown so far. So we're doing good. They're still the Cheetah RRs. They're just not the carbon version. Uh, I have the carbon roof on this thing, the carbon rear spoiler. I was a little disappointed with the spoiler options for this car. I wish that there were a few more, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. Uh, they still work, that's for sure. Car looks fantastic. Super happy to have a modern Camaro in GTA. It's about time that we finally got one of these. And uh, yeah, I can honestly say I'm, I'm very, very happy to have this in the game now. Um, we've been waiting way too long to get one, and uh, I think that Rockstar delivered pretty well with the Vigoro ZX. I think this thing is pretty awesome. So yeah, that's my Vigoro ZX. Time to move on to the next car, and this is a car you guys have seen before, but I've actually, uh, I've actually changed the customization quite a lot. Uh, this thing used to be race yellow with the uh, black bravado stripes livery on it. However, I've changed it to the blue stripes, and I've gone for a bluish silver on this car now. Uh, the interior is still some form of red. I think it's a grace or garnet red. It's a, a bit of a darker one. Looks pretty good. I've got the concave mega mesh, which is my favorite rim on this vehicle. I think it looks. Uh, I think it looks pretty good on this. I think it fits well. Got the ducktail spoiler, of course, with the two uh, kind of cannons on the back of this thing. I wish this thing had different exhaust options, and I also wish it had uh, kind of different diffuser options, to be honest. But you know what? It still looks really, really good. Uh, still, absolutely love this car. It's uh, it's so much fun. The Gauntlet Hellfire is one of the most fun cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. Definitely one to check out uh, if you guys haven't checked it out before. Pretty cheap too. It's only 745 grand, so you know it's pretty affordable, and uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. So definitely a car I would recommend. Uh, I would recommend checking out for sure. On to the next car. This is one that uh, you guys actually haven't even seen me customize yet. This is scheduled to release a little bit later uh, after you guys are seeing this. This is my Bravado Gauntlet Classic, uh, and I'm going to be making this into the Gauntlet Classic Custom a little bit later this week probably, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, this thing looks really good. I'm not going to talk you through too many customization options because when I put this thing in here for this uh, garage tour, I didn't really think about the fact that you guys haven't even seen me customize it yet, so we're kind of going to hold off on uh, talking about it too much. It is done in the crew color, um, and I've done a few other things to it, obviously, but uh, that's all I'm going to say about the Gauntlet Classic right there. Next up, we have my Saber Turbo done in a black with a cream secondary. Uh, now, this car was formerly a cream primary with a black secondary. However, I decided to switch it up today and uh, change it around. Um, I think that it actually almost looks better in the way that it is now. Again, I've got the uh, black Cheetah RRs. I, I don't know why I think that they work with muscle cars so well, but they just seem to. So, you know what? I, I can't hate. Um, it looks really, really good on this car, in my opinion. Uh, the Cheetah RRs, I don't know. They're just such a good looking rim. I think they fit with like almost any car in the game. I I think you could put cheetahs on literally almost anything and it would still no matter what look pretty good maybe i'm biased maybe i just love the cheetahs way too much but uh they're definitely my uh one of my preferred rims next to the concave mega mesh for sure uh the saber turbo it's a uh, it's a car you can steal off the street as i'm sure many of you guys are aware um and it's a uh, it's a pretty good muscle car especially for for one that you can get for free uh, so long as you you know ethically source it from the street and of course you can upgrade this thing into the saber turbo custom as well with pennies and uh, get more customization options and things like that which is something that i'm kind of tempted to do to this car at some point in the near future so uh you might you might end up seeing something like that on the channel uh pretty soon so you know stay tuned potentially and of course the last car in my garage is the imponte beater dukes now this is the beater dukes not the regular dukes now um the regular dukes doesn't have nearly this customization uh it's got a much a much more limited amount of customization now the regular dukes is either free for returning players or sixty two thousand dollars if you're not a returning player the beater dukes however is i believe three hundred and eighty three thousand dollars and it comes in a uh, in a beat up state obviously i've uh, replaced all the beat up panels on my beater dukes to be you know fully uh, fully good panels and everything like that but you can make this thing look like a junkyard you know rocket ship if you really want to again i've got the uh exposed turbo sticking through the hood right here this car is done in a dew yellow and uh, i just customized this actually relatively recently on the channel as well um, i've got the black livery on this thing i don't know if it's the black bravado livery or the uh, black imponte livery i should say probably um 
I can't really remember what livery this is, but uh, I think that this card looks super, super good. It looks super menacing, that's for sure. Um, if I saw this thing pull up next to me in traffic, I would not even attempt to try to race it. Um, because I, I think the turbos are a pretty good indication that uh, you would lose. Um, very, very cool car. Lots of customization. The Beater Dukes, I think, is one of the most unique muscle cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. Obviously, you can have it in a fully beat up junkyard state, or you can have it look like mine and uh, you know look pretty good, look pretty aggressive. You can even make it look you know completely clean and everything without turbos sticking out of the hood. So definitely a uh, definitely a very versatile car. Definitely one that I recommend uh, trying out and picking up and uh, customizing for yourselves it's a uh, it's a pretty awesome car so and that's pretty much it for my uh, muscle car garage tour in grand theft auto online guys um, i will probably make another one of these depending on how many muscle cars we get with this new update coming in uh, just about 10 days when you guys are seeing this uh, so we'll have to see if we get any new muscle cars but for right now this is what my main muscle car garage is looking like i do have more cars than this but uh, obviously i can only fit nine in here so uh, these these are my nine cars that I'm rocking with, uh, my my favorite muscle cars at the moment, at least. Uh, so. I will update you guys on this um, eventually uh, once this new DLC comes out like I say and we uh, maybe get some new cars I will make sure to update you guys and uh, show off my uh, my new garage tours as well so uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it for my muscle car garage tour if you guys enjoyed this tour if you want to see more let me know what garages you guys want to see in the comments down below leave a like if you enjoyed the video dislike if you didn't of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.